So as we look ahead to facing West Brom on Tuesday evening, I'm joined by Leandra Bakuna. And as it's the January transfer window, we're about marking a year since you've been a Bluebird. How has it been? Yeah, I think I had a similar interview when I signed as well. I think, um, yeah, it's been good. I've been enjoying it. We had a difficult time last season when I joined and then trying to stay up. Fortunately, we didn't stay up, but we keep fighting now and uh, trying to do the best we can. What are your thoughts on the season so far? It's been an up and down season. I think we had a few games that we had a good spell and then we had a few bad games. And change of manager, um, new manager came in. I think he's a really good manager trying to help us play in a different way. So, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an up and down season, but looking back to it from now and almost end of January, I think, uh, yeah, we're standing in a good position and we can have a right goal to get, get in the top six. Yeah, so you think the playoffs are still manageable at this point, halfway? Yeah, I think definitely. I think um, the way we've been playing, we haven't, I think we haven't lost in three or two games. We, we had a couple of draws, but if we can turn the draws into wins, I think it'll be very, very good for us. So obviously we've just faced Reading in the fourth round of the FA Cup. We've got them again, twice in a week. How do you enjoy playing against a, a former team? Um, yeah, I think uh, it's always nice playing against a former team. I think um, I don't really like playing Villa because I kind of left them bad terms, but yeah, not speaking about that, I think uh, Reading is a, yeah, it's a very friendly club and um, it's always nice to play there. And, uh, yeah, we got a game Tuesday and a game Friday, so we just got to see what's going to be the best thing to do for us and uh, see game for game. Before um, Saturday's game, how do, you, how do you tackle a week then when you know you've got three games in seven days? It's a lot to ask, so what do you do to prepare mentally? How does training change? Does it change for you? Yeah, I think it changed for everyone differently. I think, um, yeah, looking at the game we got um, this Saturday and then we got a game on Tuesday again. So um, the Saturday game is going to be just preparing for that and uh, get, get ready for it. And um, Tuesday, the guys who play who, who play on Saturday, they, they will have a break on Monday or, or anything and then just go again on Tuesday. So it's going to be, for everyone, it's going to be differently. Now, albeit they've not won any of their last six league games, but they are still top of the league, West Brom. Uh, a result against them now on Tuesday evening, that'll be a, a hell of a statement, wouldn't it, going forward? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, looking back at the first game we played them, I think we had a tough time. and um, uh, I think we could have gone into the top four or four, five that time as well, but um, we didn't manage to, to, to get the win. But, yeah, as you said, they haven't won in six games, so we, we, we got to take advantage of that. Hmm. And maybe their dip in form, as a contrast to how they started the season, might be down to teams adapting their style of play and adopting more of a, a defensive setup. So how, how are you looking to approach the game now on Tuesday evening? I'm not the manager, I think. <laughs> <laughs> are you as a team? <laughs> no, as a team, I think uh, we just got to get the confidence from the last few games. I think um, looking back at the Birmingham game, we, we, we were a bit struggling in the first half. We couldn't get, get out, but second half, I think we changed the game plan and uh, we, we, we had a right go and I think we deserve to win the game. So um, it's, it's not, it's, if we got the confidence as a team, I think um, we can beat any team, especially home. And obviously you got your first goal for the club back in November, so that's something you're looking to build upon as well, I imagine. Yeah, I think uh, before that my last goal was against Best Blum, so looking back at there that. There you go, might happen again on Tuesday. That's what I mean, so uh, no, I need to get back on the scoring sheet trying to help the team out, so uh, I'm doing my best. OK, right, we're going to head over to some social media questions that have come in from some of our fans. The first one is from Matt Hall. He's asking, do you compete with your brother after every weekend over who did a better job in their respective games? Um, yeah, I do call him and make a bit fun of him because uh, they're, they're almost at the bottom of the league. But I don't want him to go down. I'll just yeah, take fun of him, but I want him to do good. Are you guys competitive? I imagine you are from what you've just said, but how competitive does it get? No, we're very competitive. I think um, we, we are three free brothers and I don't like to lose and he don't like to lose. <laughs> Especially when we played each other. I uh, don't know if people saw it, but he was tackling me and stuff. So No, we're very competitive, so I think um, I always have a go at him. So. It must be weird playing against your brother though. I know you played together, don't you, for Curacao. Mm -hmm. So what's, the, what's it like playing with him and then playing against him? We, we played together first before we played against each other. So uh, it was nice playing like with him. When I played against him, it, it's always been a dream for, for, for me and for my brother, with my bigger brother, my older brother. And then uh, when, when I played him, it was just, uh, yeah, it was nice. I, I thought he was going to start the game, but he didn't start the game. But he came on and uh, yeah, it was a nice feeling. I, I just felt a bit like happy for him as well because yeah. he's my younger brother and 
it's kind of facing his older brother, so I couldn't let, let them win as well. Where did your older brother sit in the family? What what are they like? Are they split in the middle, or do they edge towards either? Nah, you? they they were split. They were split. Oh, that's alright then. They probably have their favourites, but they won't they don't tell, tell me. You. <laughs> <laughs> right, our next question comes in from Evan Rees. Um, since you've been playing here, what's the most embarrassing moment if you've had any during uh, training? Most embarrassing? Yeah. Um, is, that, is that based on football or can I say anything else? You can say anything. Uh, losing against Pelcher at table tennis. <laughs> oh, it gets quite heated this table tennis competition, it isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's quite, you lost, it's quite heated. You lost to Lee. Yeah, because he's the worst one at training guy. Oh, no, well, I guess you're the worst now. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, our next question, Alex Luke 4 is asking, what's the best stadium you've ever played at? Um, I don't know. I think um, atmosphere-wise, Liverpool Stadium is quite nice. Yeah, I think uh, the atmosphere there is very nice. And uh, yeah, when you just just step on the pitch, they start singing. You know, like you never walk alone, and it's, you know, it's been it's been nice playing. Well, I think uh, at the moment I enjoy playing Call of Duty Stadium. Good answer. <laughs> Uh, right, our next question from Christopher Lewis. So you've been here a year, what's your favourite place to eat in Cardiff? You must have tried a couple of restaurants by now. I haven't been to many places, but there's a place called Fever Brazil. Fever Brazil? What yeah, do you mean? I love, yeah, I That's like good. meat, so I go there for a bit of food. Nice. My family comes over. Kyan Evans is asking, who are you closest to in the team? Who's your best mate? Um, I'm close with, with a couple of guys, I think. Like I said, I'm quite close with Lee. So Bamba, Junior Hoyle, there's a few of them where I go around with. And our last question, we always get it when we tell people you're coming on and you go into the hairdressers now, so it's relevant. Harvey Crofts wants to know what colour are you going to dye your hair next? I'll leave it up to the fans. If the fans give me a colour, I'll go. We'll, we'll put it on social media, we'll put a, a Twitter poll. Yeah, you can do that. An Instagram vote. Yeah, we can okay, do that. we will. Well, and you'll stick to it? Yeah, I'll stick okay, to it. Okay, we'll do it yeah, then. Yes. Oh, okay. So there you go, he's said it himself. Good luck. Thank well, you. thanks for coming in. No Good luck for the week ahead. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be in touch to let you know who's coming on next week's show and you can send in more questions. See you then.